just your, the work you got and why you did it? Uh, for us, it's all about getting good work in, whether we're outside or inside. We went outside pretty hard the past couple of days, actually since camp began. Yesterday, heat index got up there a little bit, so we were in spiders today anyway, so to get some more quality work, we need to work on our speed as well as our thinking, so we went inside and played fast, and the guys moved around pretty good. What's your assessment of the two-minute drills here with your quarterbacks? Uh, get the ball out a little bit quicker. You know, weren't, weren't really rushing the passer, so it was more like a seven-on-seven two-minute. Just making the right decisions, receivers getting in the right place, defense being on the same page, making calls. Uh, somebody's going to execute the win. Somebody's going to execute, not execute and lose. So the give and take was there. I have to see the two-minute and all the quarterback decisions, but it wasn't bad. Coach, you're seven days into practice. What's the one thing on offense, defense, and special teams you're really looking at and, and really happy with? Uh, the work ethic I'm really happy with. I think everybody's putting in the work. Our mental toughness and situational football still needs to get better. After seven days, it should, but we're getting there and we're making progress. The communication is good, and I'm very happy with that. Coach, how do you think Kyle Trask looks today, especially with Tom out got a little more reps? He's getting more comfortable in the offense. I have to see the film to make sure uh, he's doing everything he's supposed to be doing, but he's confident in where he's going. He's understanding things. We're putting him in a lot of situations where he's getting some experience at, and that's all we can ask for right now. So you're focused on getting your team ready for, for next week, first preseason game and everything. There was a ruling that came out yesterday with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, it did involve your quarterback and, and uh, some tampering there. Just, just your thoughts on that. Well, the league took care of it. It has nothing to do with us. You know, we try to keep outside noise to a minimum, and there's nothing to be said on that front because I don't know. I really don't know anything about it. You guys had a lot of newcomers in spring, a lot of guys kind of being held out or limited. In terms of players on either side of the ball that have maybe taken the biggest step forward from OTAs or minicamp to now, who would you point to? Mentally, I think they've all – grown from that standpoint. Um, the biggest steps forward, it's hard to say because we're just in the second, third day of pads or into camp right now. I think they've all grown from a work ethic standpoint. Uh, I really like what Darden's doing right now. His approach all off season has been outstanding. He works hard, he keeps his head down, and he plays ball. Uh, Logan Ryan's come in and been a joy to work with. His work ethic, his intelligence, and the way he prepares for practice is, is unbelievable. Going out there, trying to learn something every day and doing the right things, as well as helping the other guys. I would say those two off the top of my head. Did you thought how much uh, playing time do you like to see your, the starters go in the first preseason game since it's the only home game? There'll be a lot of starters that won't play in that game. Uh, they'll get plenty of work in practice, though. The two practices we'll get to will play similar to a game for those guys. And we want to see some of the younger guys play that I've mentioned and kind of build our depth a little bit and go from there. Now that you've seen him in pads, Tom going to be one of the out for that one? He will not play in that game. Okay. Now that you've uh, seen him in pads a few days, what's your impressions of Sanat and what he can bring in those tackles? He's strong. You know, he's strong. He's very good at run defender, surprisingly pushing the pocket decent pass defender so he's just got to keep getting the work in as the schemes grow but he's adjusting very well and he's done a decent job so far. Coach, after two days looking at the film, uh, what does Luke Getty look like to you as far as the strength, how's it showing up? Well, Luke's tough. He's a football guy. He's outstanding in the run game. It's just a matter of picking up the scheme and understanding the different protections and seeing the different looks on defense. You're going to get a lot of looks here so he's going to get a lot of experience quick but he's very bright. Uh, he's driven to be a very good football player because he works at it. And it's just a matter of time before it all calms down for him. Was there a big birthday party for Tom today? I saw that Lenny got him a cake. Him and Lenny will have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> did you have any goat cake? I did not have any goat cake. I'm trying to eat better, Jenna. You're trying to eat I'm better? I'm trying to good eat better. You. Coach Campbell, you mentioned Kate Ott very very good technically as far as his blocking. How do you think Walt Coach, can you expand on that a little bit? Okay, he's a very cerebral player. He, he, he won't see all the speed and the power, but then you look up and he's always doing the right things. He's always in the right place. He has great hands. He understands how to play the game. 
I think that a lot of young players don't have that. He has that coming in, so that's going to benefit him going forward. Obviously, schematically, he's got to get that down, probably get a little stronger in the weight room. He hasn't been healthy long enough to really be in a true program. So as the program goes along, I expect him to help us. It seems like so many of these receivers, these young receivers that are you know, potentially on that bubble, um, you know, Tompkins, Stearns, Tyler Johnson, Jalen Darden, you mentioned Tyler Johnson. Like how, how difficult is it going to be to make those, those calls, right? Because after your, your, your top four, then you've got that group. Well, it's going to be tough. You know, it's, it's going to be tough. That's why we got the practices. They're going to play in the games. We're going to get to see them. Not just once, we're going to see them twice. We're going to see them a lot in the practices that we have against them in the preseason games, and, and then we'll look up and see. But it, it's a lot of talent at that position, not just the four that we have, but all the other guys too. But we got to see how it shakes out. Patrick, so often with young players, I feel like when we ask you about this, the first thing you point to is their intelligence and their smarts. And even if you drafted with that in mind, have, have they kind of exceeded expectations? Or, or, or has it been a pleasant surprise how, how well they've handled that side of things? I think they've handled everything well thus far. You know, you got to see when the lights go on. Right now, we're practicing, and we got to do more call it periods and more game like situations for us to make that full evaluation. What's your impression of Cam? I mean, he's going into his ninth year uh, at tight end. His roles have been different throughout his career. You know, he said uh, he feels maybe as healthy as he's been in six years now. He's solid. He's extremely intelligent. Uh, he's a quarterback on the field. He's got great hands. He's a great route runner. And he's a very willing blocker, very pleased with Cam and everything he's done. He brings a lot to our team on and off the field. Have you seen the confidence of Kraft kind of elevate a little bit? It looked like he was breathing it through some tight, tight windows today and, and, and throwing it with some tighter coverage. Now he's a confident guy. You know, once he gets more reps and understands what he's doing, like I said, he knows where to go with the football. He understands it. He commands the offense when he's in there, so I'm pleased with that. Coach, when do you start game planning for Dallas or have you already started? You look at tape, you haven't really started game planning. You're just looking at tape in your spare time, and you collect your thoughts, and at some point we'll get together as coaches and we'll sit down and start doing that. You don't know much about the, you know, the NFL's punishment on Miami, but the fact that, that another team was having a conversation with a quarterback in December when he's preparing to try to defend the Super Bowl, does that, does that bother you from a, just from a football standpoint? doesn't bother me. It's just not a lot going on in sports right now, so we're not making it any bigger than it is. Anything else? It looks like Tom was able to negotiate a day off. I don't know if it was a planned day off, but, but he got one. It was his planned day off as well, and he got lucky that it was his birthday. Okay, okay. Yeah. No preferential treatment for the, for the aging quarterback. Of course there is. <laughs> <laughs>